Hey guys, we're having a good day in Expansion Field, and well, we'll just show off basically. I'll explain it. We'll see. We'll see. No, I'll just. Anyway, in the entire of Napata, Napata, sorry. Special heroes, the battle. First up, we have Unrivaled Dawn. It I'll takes a lot of practice to wield two blades at once, but I put in the effort. Altina will an axe image unit, two axes. Uh, Arcadian axes. A cell special trigger, current commands one. Unit attacks twice, even if phone issues come up. Unit attacks twice, of course. Unit current act guards of trades. So literally just her things you're having just on, as an axe. And uh, minus five, she doesn't have a speed minus five this time. At start of combat, if HP is 25% or above, and fixed attack speed, res minus X on foe during combat. Axe is 20% of her resistance at the start of combat, plus five. Okay. And also, if foe's attack. Attack can trigger foe's special or her she res her res is equal to more than foe's res plus five. Infects colon current plus one on the foe before the foe's first attack. During combat can exceed maximum colon value. Arms of the free. It's a new one. Uh one charge thanks to the weapon. When special triggers, boost size is by 40% of her resistance. And neutralizes foes reduced size by X percent of non-special skills. At start of combat, if her special is ready or she outraces the foe, reduce damage from attacks during combat and from earth effect specials, excluding Roker, because Roker is the post effect. Battery percentage equal to the differences, stats times 3, max 30%. Alright, so attack res finish 4. HP in free space of an ally, attack res plus 7, then to her during combat. And also, if her special is ready or her special is triggered before or during, com during this combat, this plus 5 damage during combat, except the damage for our specials. Um, she deals damage to a foe during combat, heals 7 HP to her, even if no damage is dealt. Okay. I'm sure she might have a advantage in her, in her kit. No. No, just, uh, just instantly keep using the arms of the free. Okay. Attack defense ball over 4. If foe changes 1, cannot move through space adjacent to her. Her. If four turns two, cannot move through space within two spaces of her. Does not affect foes to pass. In fact, attack defense minus four on the foe during combat. But I'm reducing that by foes first attack by 40%. First attack normally means first is the strike. And for effects that say you just twice, it's first and second. And heals them HP to her after combat. Alright. Then attack and sorry, then 10 plus four. At the start of turn, if Colin Code is at maximum value, grants Colin Code minus one after combat. If Colin Code is maximum value, so, she's just going to spam arms of the free. Got it. Learning full stats and slows their special activation. Holds full bay with defense and healing. Ah, this is a period. Enters animation. Next up, we have Nimble Gris. I fight so that someday children will be free to grow up in peace. Do you know? Red Sword Flying In. Lead the Sands. A South Spread Trigger Second Lunas 2. At the start of turn, if you is within two spaces of an ally, grant speed, rest plus six, bonus doubler, and no panic to her and Alice in two spaces of her one turn. Uh, if she needs to come out, or from two spaces of an ally, Grants attack, speed defense, rest plus 5 to her. Neutralize effects that guarantees the foe's follow attack and prevents hers. And deals damage equal to 20% of her speed during combat. Excluding her effect specials. Okay. Luna treats foe's defense and iron reds for 50%. Guard burning, inflicts speed defense minus 4 on the foe during combat. Reduces damage from attacks during combat and from iron effect specials, excluding Roker. By X% percent during her first combat. The foe initiates it's 60 and otherwise it's 30. Okay. Attack defense of 4. Upgrade skill. At the start of turn, is she within 2 spaces of an ally? Attack defense plus 6 to her for 1 turn. Uh, she can move 2 spaces as she's any ally between 2 spaces. Is she within 2 spaces of an ally? Attack defense plus 3 during combat. Solid. Next one's going to be the 4 star. Looks to, so we'll see what the 4 star they can. Nullifies the panic status on nearby allies and grants bonus to their stats. Can reduce time taken 2. 
for the children. Huh. Indomitable well. I used to live in the desert with my friends in the Lagoo's Emancipation Army. Tomod. Got it. Red Tung Image unit. Oh, that's Daphne, Forsyth. The battle right back in plus. That's our turn. It feeds him two speeds of an ally. Grants he cannot be slowed by terrain. Does not apply to impossible terrain. A desperation for one turn. Uh, desperate just means he gets follow attack. Uh, if he finishes combat, or when two speeds of an ally, attack speed defense trespass for them during combat. Deals damage equal to 10% of his attack, excluding nerf effect specials. Okay. Dragonagora boosts time spike further of his attack. Speed rest tempo free. Infects speed rest minus three on the foe. A new choice is affects the ground the ground's colon charge plus X to foe or infects minus X to him during combat. And then speed rest got free. Uh, so our turn grants speed rest plus five to Ali that has speed rest total for one turn. Speed plus rest, sorry. Excluding himself. Yeah, not too bad. Can move through forces and other terrain so it affects and follows up, up in me after attacking. We're not done. So we have a green to red. So what's this unit? Sworn protectors. I can't believe I get to fight beside you, Lady Louise. You've become such a wonderful woman. And green blue. Such fun. Okay. You. Okay, so first off, blue bow looks to be blue low infantry unit. Sound glass bow. It sells for your current minus one. Effect against five bows. It's a bow makes sense. At the start of turn one, grants cooling current minus two. All right. So that blazing wind is just a one charge apparently. Then at the start of turn, if units win two spaces with ally, grants the following to unit and infantry and armor allies with two spaces. Unit can be slowed by terrain. Does not apply to impossible terrain. And unit can move one extra space, does not stack, for one turn. If unit is just combat from two space of an ally, attack speed plus six to unit during combat, and deal damage equal to 15% of unit's attack, including when dealing damage with stretcher before combat. First time that's coming up. Deal sums equal to X percent of unit's speed. X is unit's max coding coming you times 10 plus 10. Okay, so that blazing wind would be 40%, it looks to be. And for blazing wind, before unit is combat, Foes in an area in near target takes damage equal to 1.5 times units attack minus foes defense or res. It's a bow, so it's attack. It's defense. Flash Barrow. If unit is just combat, grants attacks B plus 7 to unit during combat. And so if she, if they if their speed is equal to more than full speed plus 5, grants colon charge plus 1 to them for attack during combat. Only has place and stack. Then the speed defense table 4. And fix speed defense minus four on foe. Neutralize effects that like grants colon charge plus X on the foe or fix minus X on them. And reduce damage percentage of foes non special reduced damage by X percent scale by 50% during comma. So, for example, if a foe has reduced damage by 45%, it's 20, it would be 23. You round up. Pulse up bleeds. At the start of turn, grants attack speed plus X to uniform one turn. X is turn number times two, max six. And grants colon count minus one to unit. Oh god. Now, weapon is powerful, early effect specials every turn. That could then run movement and I'll fight in three. And they're a harmonized unit too. Grants reasonably a treachery and desperation to unit allies in the same title. Alright. So no colorless. Such fun. You must win. <sighs> okay, the bond of shield is obviously your story. So uh oh guys here. He's the Tempest Travel unit. So I think this is one of your times where I asked shoot off the Tempest Travel unit ahead of time. As that sneak ring. Tomorrow, yes, yeah, and it's only lands live tomorrow, so I'm gonna ship stays now. Yes, dual unit looks nice. I'd rather pull it. Uh, my second pick, I would rather. 
and obvious reasons are obvious. Uh, Altina is the leader and I really want to pull, so I'm hoping they pull both. Uh, Juno's not too bad. Uh, her kit's not... Her, her curve's pretty well set up. And Tomad, I'll gotta take us a four-star. But no, the banner is... You know, two reds, a green, and a blue. So, I don't know. You summon on or not? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I might actually try to go for Spark because I... Well, two units I really want to. I don't know. I'll think about it. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you soon next time. Bye.